Hello, my name is Steven, and this is my Congressional App Challenge. For the Congressional App Challenge, I decided to make a program that would allow the user to access all formulas for all subjects in one location. I decided to call my app the Subject Formula Program at the moment. The idea behind my program is that there are many, many formulas that students are required to remember throughout their educational career. And it's most students already have problems just remembering formulas they learned that year. So imagine having to remember a formula you learned five years ago. That's the problem I want to uh, assess. So in order to assess this problem, I decided that my program should have all formulas for all subjects in one location as to allow the user to have one app with any formula that they possibly could possibly need. The biggest problem that I faced when making my program and that is still the one that I face right now is how to turn this into a full integrate uh, to a full app that would allow users to interact with it like on a smartphone. Currently I'm using a Java program and this doesn't really allow user interface. So hopefully, hopefully in further improve, improvements of my program, I'll be able to make it an actual app that the user can click on rather than type in inputs. So to show you my program, as you can see, if you read it, it introduces the program and it tells you what it does. When you press enter, it asks you to input what subject you would like to see. If you, it say you try to put an input that is not recognized in the program, such as let's say uh, aerospace. Since my program cannot recognize this input, it will ask you to re-enter one that it actually understands. So let's input science. Now we're taking to the science hub for formulas. It'll, it'll introduce itself and then it'll ask you to press enter when you are ready. When you're ready, it'll ask you to give it an input. So let's say you want to learn about physics. Now you go to the physics hub. Here, it'll ask you to input a specific area about physics that you would like to go into depth. So let's say you want to learn more about kinematics. When we do, it'll, it'll show a picture of all the formulas that have to do with this uh, section of physics, as well as what each symbol means. So as you can see, here are your four main kinematic equations, as well as what each variable could possibly mean. If we were to rerun my program, and let's say instead of science, we decide to do, say we decide to do something like, Let's say social science, right? Here it takes us to the social science hub, not even not the science hub. When we press enter, it'll ask us to enter which subject we want to talk about. So let's go to economics. When we get here, it'll do the same thing. So let's say we want to learn about GDP. You type it in, and it shows you a picture explaining the GDP formula. Although my program is not an app at the moment, I'm hoping that by the time that one day in the future for possible future versions, I can make it a full on interactive program because right now at the moment, I do not know anything like App Inventor or any other app related software, but hopefully by the end of the year, I'll know enough about program programming languages such as those so that I could integrate this into an interactive app. I'd like to thank the my Congressional App Challenge representative, as well as my teacher for supporting me in this effort.